Hi, my name is John Folland and I'm developer evangelist at SignalWire. Today, I'd like to talk about the power intrinsic to the SignalWire cloud. And to do so, I'd like to do a general overview of SignalWire itself. Uh, go over some of the key core concepts and notions that are important to developing with SignalWire, but also uh, familiarize you with the SignalWire space interface. Now, this is the first of a series of videos that I'll be doing where I'm going to go into deep dive, technical, everything on each and every subject that we attack here. But today is an overview video, so we'll keep it short and simple. So as you can see here, we are logged into the SignalWire space interface. And one of the first things that I'd like to talk to you about is the notion of projects within the context of SignalWire. Um, projects are a great way to separate your application development and clients. Um, any logical way that you want to break apart your account, uh, projects is the way to go. Um, projects also one of the one of the more obvious benefits of using projects is to separate usage out for clients. So um, you'll I'd also like to to have you note that. Uh, all of the menu items here on the in the navigation to the left anything that's underneath the project heading these all pertain to the current project whichever project we have pulled up and uh, underneath the space heading those apply all globally to the signal wire account now when developing uh, building a full-fledged application with conditionals and your own business logic and uh, maybe even external data sources uh, SignalWire offers two main ways of doing that. Relay, uh, the Relay family of APIs, and uh, the LAML APIs. Now, I will go into which uh, is better in specific contexts in a future video, but uh, I just wanted to point out that the Relay and the LAML tabs are where you'll want to go to see your activity for the usage of those APIs. And uh, it's also, in the main tabs here, it's also a good place to get uh, direct links to the API documentation. You see the same thing is true here for Relay. As you can see here, I'm on the SIP endpoints page. Now, uh, nothing too complicated here. Uh, I have a list of uh, all of my active endpoints. I can configure them. Um, I can create a new one. I also have uh, under the SIP settings here. Now, these apply, these SIP profile settings apply to all of the SIP endpoints in my project. Um, as you can see here, I gave it uh, a fancy and quite appropriate slug in the SIP URI for all of the endpoints in my in my overview project but nothing uh, nothing too complicated here now here dialogue flow is uh, actually a Google tool that uh, allows you to rapidly create these artificially intelligent robots essentially based on artificial intelligence that allows you to create a conversational interface um, what's super interesting uh, in the context of SignalWire is that we allow you to, to import one of those dialogue flow agents. And uh, for example, you could have someone call a phone number and they could interact with that uh, dialogue flow agent, that, that robot that you, that you built uh, with the dialogue flow tool. So um, in, in this page, uh, you can connect and you can import uh, an existing dialogue flow agent that you have uh, associated with your account. And you can also see the, the logs, uh, anything that comes out from those agents that you've imported. Here on the integrations uh, page, you can uh, set up new integrations or manage existing integrations. Basically, integrations are other platforms or services that are specifically set up to be used with SignalWire. Um, most likely, unless you already have an integration that you're looking to connect with SignalWire, you probably won't need this, but I'll just give you a quick look at some of the integrations that we propose already. Um, this uh, new Zapier integration might even interest you. It's in beta, but it's definitely worth taking a, taking a look at. Now, here on the API page, on the API credentials page, uh, I can create and manage the tokens that I'll be using in my various uh, SignalWire projects. So um, these tokens are project-specific. 
so my overview token uh, is specific to my overview project. Um, and uh, th these you'll use in a number of different places, whether they be inside uh, the apps that you create with Relay or LAML, or whether you're using some other third-party integration. Uh, these, uh, these API tokens are the essentially the login credentials that you'll need for your app to be able to speak with SignalWire. Now, one of the coolest and most fun things to do with a SignalWire space is to buy and manage uh, phone numbers. And phone numbers also kind of act as a hub of a lot of the activity that you do on SignalWire. Uh, so why don't we make one together? I'm gonna click here, add a new phone number. One of the cooler things that I like about this interface is uh, obviously it's it's cool, local, local toll-free short code, but I love being able to search for my name. I'm going to say I want my phone number to end with my name. So, you know, what you would see on a numerical keypad. Now, this should give me a bunch of phone numbers that end in 5646. Yep, J-O-H-N. And you know what? I'm going to take this Michigan number here. And like that, it is purchased. Now, as soon as I purchase a phone number, I have my phone number settings where I could hook it up to LAML or Relay, any of our other integrations like Dialogflow. But here I'm just going to give it a name. There we go. And there we have it. I have my new phone number all purchased and ready to go. So there you go. I truly hope that this video has been useful and helpful for you. Um, I'd also love to know what you're developing. So please uh, reach out and uh, let us know what you're doing with SignalWire, uh, or if you have any questions, uh, if you feel stuck anywhere. Uh, the best place uh, for all of those resources is our community Slack forums, which you'll find the link to below. But that's a great place to reach out to us. Our SignalWire OGs are standing by 24-7 and uh, lots of members of the community as well. So until next time.